Hi everyone, I'm Rue. I have some amazing friends, but sometimes we disagree. We disagree about what shows to watch. Ugh, you want to watch the news? But there's cartoons on. We have different favorite sports. Ugh, I'm actually more into soccer. We even disagree about what to eat. Pineapples on pizza? Why would you do that? How can I be a good friend to someone when we disagree? That's the same question the Source team is asking today. Let's find out if they're getting along with their newest teammate, Jesse, in The Source. Well, we are already running late, so we might as well start without him. First day, and he's already late. Adding Jesse was totally a bad idea. I don't want to think about that right now. Okay, here's what I'm thinking. We should do an interview to start off this first issue. Okay, uh, what about Miss Main? I thought about that, but isn't that obvious? She's a new teacher, and she's kind of a big deal. Good point. Wait, guys, hold up. Shouldn't we get Jesse's opinion? Oh, our, our new reporter? He's 20 minutes late. He lost the chance to have an opinion. What's up, news nerds? Hi, Jesse. I don't mean to bother you, but you are 20 minutes late. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't let time confine me. Well, here, we like to respect everyone's time. That's a really cool thing. Thank you. All right. Uh, back to the issue. Right, yes, okay. Um, if we do start with the interview, how do we want to fill the rest of the issue? Do you have any ideas? What? Uh, to fill the rest of the issue, do you, do you have any ideas? Uh, I any mean, ideas? we could... <sighs> okay, no, I think we should... Okay, okay, Jesse! Yo! Would you care to contribute anything else to this conversation other than your amazing beats? Sure, I got an article for you. It's about how the football team is gonna win state. Because you know, we're awesome. Um, it's in here somewhere. Ah. There you go. Enjoy. Well, my job's done. Later, peeps. Great meeting. What's going on? I can't work with Jesse. His article was just about how amazing he is. But it was unbelievably well written. Okay, well, he's new. He's probably just trying to find his voice. Oh, really? Look what he made for the newsroom. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's even handing out autographs. Yeah, that's a lot. Okay, but what do you want to do? We need to get rid of him. And how are you going to do that? Hey, guys. What's up? You guys are up to something. Oh, it's just so nice to see you. How are you? I'm not getting rid of Jesse for you. What? Bowie, I would never, ever, ever, ever ask you to do that. You guys always make me your minion. Well, guess what? I'm not doing your guys' dirty work anymore. If you don't want Jesse here, then you tell him. What? Don't look at me, that is definitely not my thing. Okay, fine. I'll just find a way to make it work. Maybe I'm just overreacting. No, I'm not. What's up, news peeps? How's it going? I know, the usual, just coming up with stories. Cool. And uh, how do you guys do that? By uh, not being in here. Trixie, we, come on, we're late for the... Yes, we are late. Yes. I completely forgot. Mm -hmm. We have it's very important. That, that yes. thing, yep. that yep. very yep. important thing. Hmm. 
Every time I enter the newsroom, they immediately leave. They just must be really busy and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah totally. They're uh, always looking for that new story, you know. <laughs> work, work, work. <laughs> Hey, Jesse, what's going on in that old football brain? They hate me, don't they? Oh, oh, uh, oh, uh, wow. Um, you know, uh, look at the time. I'm, I'm late. <laughs> I'm, I'm so, so very late. So I'm going to head out. You, know, and... you okay? Yeah, totally. Didn't think it would bother you. It, it, it's not. I'm just asking, you know? I'm, I'm cool. I'm sorry I brought it up. Hey everyone, welcome back. The question earlier was a good one. How can I be a good friend to someone when we disagree? Sometimes I felt like I just want to stay away from someone when we disagree or totally ignore them. Oh no, it's Sharon. I don't like her. I gotta hide. <laughs> now, ignoring someone is not the way to make good friends. Sometimes being a good friend means putting someone else first. Uh, putting them first? You mean like letting them win first prize? Not exactly. Putting someone first means putting what they want before what you want. Wait, 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 wait. I don't wanna put Sharon first. That's so tough. It can be tough, but it's super important. A long time ago, Jesus even told a story about putting others first. Jesus's story started with a person who was walking along the road. Jesus didn't give him a name, but let's call him Jesse. As Jesse was walking, Thieves attacked him, took all of his money, and left him there. Whew. Let's get out of here, guys. As Jesse was lying there, some rich and powerful people walked by him, but didn't stop to help. <gasps> oh dear, I don't want to get mud on my new robe. <sighs> then, a Samaritan, which means someone from the land called Samaria, walked by. People where Jesus was from didn't like Samaritans at all. But this Samaritan stopped and started to help Jesse. He cleaned Jesse's cuts and bruises. He put bandages on him. Then the Samaritan let Jesse ride on his donkey to the next town while he walked the whole way. Come on. Wow, that was pretty nice of him. Actually, the Samaritan didn't stop there. He paid for Jesse to stay in a hotel. Here you go. Then he stuck around for a whole day to make sure Jesse was all right. So he spent all that time and money taking care of this complete stranger? Wow. Yeah, the Samaritan thought about what Jesse needed before thinking about himself. That's what putting people first looks like, thinking about what others need and doing whatever we can to help them. Jesus told that story to show us that a good friend puts others first. It's important to know that this doesn't mean letting other people be mean, say bad things to you, or do whatever they want. You can still ask to do something else, or say no if someone wants you to do something you know is wrong. Okay, okay, I'm ready to put others first. Where do I start? You can put someone first by giving them a turn, doing something good for them without being asked, and taking time to help them, just like the Samaritan did. Next, let's see if the Source team can find a way to put Jesse first. Don't you feel like the whole school just feels different this year? I mean, yeah, all of a sudden everyone knows who- <gasps> Bowie! You can't do that! You scared the life out of me! Good, we need to talk. About what? About the Jesse situation. Uh, no we don't, Diamond Jim. Yeah, we came up with the perfect solution. Jesse comes in, we go out. It's a great plan. I approve. I think it's hurting Jesse's feelings. Uh, Jesse, 
feelings. Well, you're not being very welcoming. I said hi. That's welcoming. That's super welcoming. Oh, come on. I think we're making Jesse feel bad. But he feels like we don't want him here. That's because we don't. So that's it. We're just, we're just not going to talk about it. Well, I think we came up with a perfectly fine solution. It, guys, we're better than this. But we... I'm actually really surprised you're upset. Why? Jesse's awful to you. But I want to give him a chance. Okay, is he obnoxious? Yes. Can he be hard to be around? Absolutely! Okay, you're not really making a good argument. Okay, but the thing is, we're all a little weird. Do you guys remember the first time you met me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you acted like an old-timey person. You walked in wearing a hat and a trench coat, and you talked in a bizarre accent. I actually thought that was funny. Well, you do now. But back then, you guys thought I was super weird. Very true. But it's the weirdness that makes us closer friends. It's the secret that makes the source so great. And now that I think about it, <laughs> we think we're anti-snobs. Well, I got news for you. We are snobs. Uh, speak for yourself. I am not a snob. He's right. We are snobs. I'm a snob. Th that is gross. But, but Gabby, if we don't accept Jesse now, we're just as bad as the kids who put us down. But Jesse is the one who puts us down. But that doesn't mean we should do it too. You both really want to give him a chance? Yeah. Okay, fine. But if he does anything mean or ridiculous, I am booting him back to gym class. Aw awesome. That's, that's awesome. I have a feeling this is gonna turn out great. I hope. Okay, he's coming. Remember, be nice. Yeah, yeah. But we said you wanted to see me? Yes. Now, Trixie. Ta-da! What's with the white thing? You guys trying to cover up a hole or something? It's a sign, can't you read? There's nothing to read. It's blank. What are you talking about? In big giant letters, it says absolutely nothing. We put it up backwards. Jesse, uh, go back out. What? Why? Just do it. Okay, but you guys are weird. That's our thing. Um, even it out. Even it out. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. Can I come in now? Um, yes. Ta-da! You did that for me. Yeah, we realized we didn't really throw you a welcome party, so. You didn't have to do that. Dude, you're one of us now. We want you to know how awesome it is that you're joining us. Plus, there's a cake. Bowie, where's the rest of the cake? I got hungry. That was for Jesse. Okay, you guys were taking forever putting up the sign. I got a little hungry. There's still some left. Look, it's, oh, oh. Well, there, there was some left. <laughs> it's cool, Bowie. I can't believe you did all this. I thought you all hated me. <laughs> what? No, not at all. You literally walk out of the room every time I enter. Uh, that's because we're sorry. It was not cool of us, and you really do deserve a chance. Thanks, and I'm sorry too. I know I got a reputation for being... Incorrigible. <laughs> That's fair. Wait, you know what that word means? Of course. Incorrigible means somebody who doesn't learn from their mistakes. Okay, that's actually impressive. Thank you. And thanks for letting me be a part of your crew. We're a crew. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll work on it. <laughs> and look, man, sorry about the cake. Sugar is always the best part about a party. Hey, it's cool. I love floor cake. <laughs> I have no idea what floor cake is, but it sounds awesome! <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, oh, wow. Mm. 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 Uh, no, 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 that's not it. <laughs> cool, good, more for us. That's right. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. We're not snobs. <laughs> no, no, definitely not. It's real again. Today was pretty cool. We heard Jesus' story about the Good Samaritan. 
That was an amazing example of putting someone else first. The Source team struggled a little with accepting Jesse onto their team. In the end though, they showed us that even when we don't get along with someone, we can choose to put them first. This week, your challenge is to put someone else first. You could choose to apologize to someone you argued with, even if they haven't said they're sorry. You could let a friend or brother or sister have first choice in a game. You could take time to help someone at school or at home, even without being asked. This week, find a way to put someone else first. Thanks for watching, you guys. I'll see you next week.